Hi, this is Barry here, and you're very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today I want to ask you a question. Would you ever think of giving a monkey a machine gun? <laughs> now, you're probably wondering why I'm asking you that question. Now, of course, it is an unethical thing to do to give an animal something as dangerous as a machine gun. Because you know uh, for a fact that either if he didn't kill himself, he would probably kill everybody that was around him. And yet I see that so many times online. Now, if you've been a listener of the Right Come um, podcast, you've probably seen the episode I had done a couple of episodes back about um, three things I had learned from unsubscribing from 99% of my emails. And if you haven't, basically what I did is exactly what I did in that title of the podcast. I unsubscribed from 99% of the emails. And the reason I did so was because I had found that I had been on a few kind of internet marketing, um, you know, work from home, get rich quick kind of email list who I subscribed to in the past and it was just getting ridiculous how many emails were coming in they were offering me the latest software that was just going to you know totally blow me away and turn my life around and you know it was going to double the amount of business I was going to do it was going to make me ten thousand dollars in a week and you know you've probably seen all those emails probably yourself but I just had enough that I just it was just getting silly um so many people just Everybody had the right solution to me, you know, uh, you know, as soon as I had bought maybe that particular software, then you could be guaranteed then to be back again another two weeks time with another piece of software that was going to be even better than the last one I bought. And for a lot of people, they, you know, they get duped into that, they get... They get persuaded through sales letters and copywriting or whatever to think that this is going to be the one. This is going to be the piece of software that's going to make a big difference in their life. And, you know, for a lot of those people, they're actually dopamine addicts. Um, ben Settle said at one time that um, he had spoken to somebody who had said that to him. And it's probably true. A lot of people do when they hit the, the buy button, you know, they get a dopamine rush um until they get to you know get their seat and then after that then it kind of tapers off and then you know they're off looking for the next buzz the next kind of big thing or the next thing that's going to make a big difference and it's going to be those things that are you know there's going to be no work to it it's going to automate everything and you just need to collect the money on the other side and you know the majority of business aren't like that at all you know you're going to have to put in the work and like giving a monkey a machine gun in some cases like for example, what made me think about this, what gave me the idea for this podcast episode was, you know, recently, um, again, as I said, I had unsubscribed from all those emails, but one of them had, you know, sneaked through uh, the filters that I had set up and it was offering a piece of software that was going to totally turn around my Facebook page. You know, it was going to be one of those automated uh, software that was going to have all these bots that were going to reply to everything. I'd, You know, if somebody asked a question on the Facebook page, a bot would reply to it. It was going to add people on my email list. It was going to do this and it was going to do that. And while that probably sounded, you know, fantastic, I knew I wasn't at the level that I needed that. And unfortunately, some of those people, as I said, the dopamine addicts probably raced out with their credit cards or the PayPal accounts and they snapped up the software. And in most cases, um, like giving that machine gun to the monkey, they're going to do more damage to themselves. They're going to do more damage to the business. And, you know, if they don't show that they don't know what they're talking about, by having a software that is probably going to put you in front of a bigger audience, not only are you going to maybe, you know, show the 10 or 20 people that already know you that they don't know that you're talking about but you're probably going to put yourself in front of thousands of people if that that are just going to show that you are just a complete fool and don't know what you're doing you know as i said before on in my writing sorry my email writing course um uh, email ace um you know a lot of people you know think that oh i need this i need to have a certain number of subscribers on my list before i'm going to start writing my emails you know they have this magic figure in their head you know when i have a hundred subscribers on my email list that is when i am going to start writing emails to those people you know um rather than actually looking at you know maybe if i've only got two subscribers on my email you know on my Aweber account or whatever, maybe it's time that I should start writing content for them first and testing out in front of them and testing out ideas and making mistakes and, you know, trying how I word it and, you know, the subject lines and all those things and then see how those things, how, you know, how those two people respond to my emails. Do they like the content I'm putting out? Uh, rather than actually waiting for the hundred people because, as I said before in that course, I would rather make a fool out of myself in front of 10 people rather than do it in front of 1,000 people. You know, by having a small number like that, when you're unknown, you know, it's the best time because, you know, a lot of people want to, they want to be known straight away. They want to be an instant celebrity online and they want this and they want that. 
rather than actually tanking the fact that they're unknown, that nobody knows about them. Because when you're unknown, you know, you you can make mistakes, you can do stupid things, and next to nobody knows about it. You know, for example, if I was, you know, thinking, um, like I was a beginner and I was getting into fiction writing, and I wanted to get my first book in front of 10,000 people, you know, I think that's a bad idea. I think I would rather get my book in front of 10 people and build an audience slowly and make the, my my fiction writing mistakes in front of that smaller audience you know get all the bad reviews first and learn from all those mistakes before i actually got to the fact got to the stage where i had a thousand people but everybody wants kind of instant things they want they want you know the crowd now they want the celebrity status they want this huge email list rather than actually paying their dues and you know getting the down pat first you know and that's why being unknown is a good thing. It's good that nobody is going to your blog at the moment if you have a blog. You know, it's good that nobody is buying your fiction books at the moment. It's good that nobody knows you because now is the time when you're kind of in the long grass. You can make all the mistakes. You can, you know, you can work on your craft. You can improve and you improve. And then when your audience does come along, then maybe at your 10th or maybe your 15th book, you know, if it needs to take that long, you know, by that stage, you've got 15 books behind you. You've put a lot of mistakes behind you. You know, again, with the posts on your blog, you know if you have maybe 30 or 40 blog posts behind you you know by that stage you should know then how to write a good blog post you should know what your audience wants and you should start be able to write good blog posts for that and yeah a lot of people don't want that they want that instant software like a, that one i spoke of and like that monkey with the machine gun you know they're just they haven't got a clue what they're doing they're gonna make a fool of themselves but you know they want that instant fix that is just gonna start you know, where they're going to go from earning zero dollars a month to having like ten thousand dollars come out of the side of their laptop, you know, from from having no experience. And you and I know, um, you know, that it's ridiculous. But at the end of the day, people do get duped into it. And, you know, they do get uh, copies, you know, copy on sales letters or emails or whatever convince them that that these things are going to be the biggest thing that you know has ever happened to them so whatever you're doing today you know if you do get one of those emails or you do have an opportunity to maybe to test something out and then just think to yourself you know would i not be better you know working on the basics getting my skill you know up to speed first and being unknown and you know putting in the time putting in the hours like the ten thousand hours as as i heard before becoming an expert uh before you go and put yourself in front of a bigger audience because you know you'd rather you're better off making the mistakes in front of 20, 30 or 40 people rather than putting yourself in front of two or three or 4,000 people and making a total fool of yourself. And, you know, that's the way it's, be that's why it's better to be unknown. You know, it may be frustrating at the moment that nobody's reading your books. It may be frustrating that nobody's coming over to your blog to read your posts. But now is the time when nobody knows you to, you know, to, to get all the mistakes out of the way, to start improving. And then when the audience does come along, then, you know, that you're well ready to handle them when they do come. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. I hope it gave you something to think about. Now, if you're probably watching this on video or the podcast itself, you'll probably see a couple of social media buttons close by. I'd really appreciate if you would just click one or two. If you know people who would appreciate the kind of message in this and who would learn it, uh, learn something from it. Now, if you'd like to know more about me, if you'd like to find out more uh, from the podcast episodes or just the content on the site, if you just come over to W-R-I-T-E-C-O-M-E dot com, that's writecom dot com, and I have a lot of great content over there and I'd love to see you drop by. So as always, thanks for sharing your time with me again today and take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.